The concept of music and sound have been around since the beginning of man. We feel that throughout history, music has taken many twists and turns, and we believe its power has changed the world. There are many genres of music, all being influential to society and culture. However, rock and roll has edited the world's timeline. It changed the way people dress, live their domestic and social lives, and express their views on the way of the world. Rock is an expression of true feeling and passion that drives an individual to become different. Through these individuals, the very paradigm of several cultures and societies have been shaped and crafted. Like everything, music had a beginning. Music has always been around, however, the recording of music did not enter the scene until 1877 with the invention of the phonograph. This device was used to cover human speech by Mr. Thomas Edison saying, Mary had a little lamb. With this invention of recording, a world of possibilities was opened to the reality of music production. With music came voice, and with voice soon would come change. Rock and roll has evolved from blues and jazz. The early recordings of the music had a raw sound to it. This raw sound was important to the genre of rock and roll. Teenagers grew increasingly attracted to this jazzy style of music, while their parents became concerned about how the music would affect their children with racial stereotypes and plot through the lyrics. Some important artists of the genre are Jimmy Rogers with California Blues, Bing Crosby with As Time Goes By, and Robert Johnson with Crossroads. All these individuals would ultimately become the inspiration for the beginning of rock and roll. The song playing is Rocket 88 by Jackie Brunson and his Delta Cats. It is considered the first rock song because it has a faster tempo and talks about cars and women. The electric guitar was invented in 1931 by Adolf Riddenbacher, who was a Swiss-American man. Orville Gibson founded the Gibson Guitar Corporation in 1902 and created his first electric guitar in 1952. These advances set the stage for a whole new type of music, rock and roll. The company Lutwig was founded in 1909, and they patented the first workable bass drum pedal. The Beatles used this brand of drums for their music. People were amazed with this new style of music. In 1954, Alan Freed began the term rock and roll. Alan Freed was a popular radio host on Wins Radio in New York, calling the new music rock and roll. Later, in 1965, the term was shortened to rock. The stage was set, and finally, as the 1950s went by, rock music was continuing to expand with various bands and artists. One in particular exploded with fame, Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley was known as, and always will be known as, The King. This title he rightfully deserves. Born in Mississippi, grew up in Memphis, being directly influenced by the African-American jazz and blues style of music. He observed and loved the way the music sounded. He heard the jazzy tone of the songs and fell in love with music. It is estimated that Elvis has sold over 1 billion units worldwide, making him the most played artist of all time. Throughout the entire world, people knew Elvis by first name because of his music and his movies. Individuals started dressing like Elvis, singing like Elvis, and even thinking the way Elvis did. His influence on the world was indescribable. Elvis was only the beginning of the madness and popularity of rock and roll. The King had started a revolution of legendary proportions. As the rock music shaped and evolved, all sorts of bands were formed. These bands took part in this musical phenomenon. The British Invasion describes the millions of fans flocking to the new bands from overseas. The British Invasion consisted of many bands, one being the Rolling Stones, with several number one singles and platinum albums. Another band being the Beatles, that someone argues is the best band that's ever lived, were a major influence on American culture. Another band being The Who 
had a major impact on society, playing at Woodstock and several large venues. As teenagers in the United States became more financially stable, they would spend all their money on the latest albums and merchandise. Teen girls started to fall in love with the band members, and guys wanted to become just like them. A wave like the world had never seen was happening. Artists started expressing every emotion they felt needed to be expressed and every word that needed to be spoken. As artists did this, people started to do the same, having riots in the streets and parades. The 1960s were a time of riots and peace, hope, love, and war. The times were unreal. Looking at the 1960s and 1950s was like looking at black and white. The music had become more than entertainment, but a lifestyle. Individuals felt the right to express themselves in new ways, using banners, cars, buildings, and even their own bodies. However, not all the influences were positive. Many bands and band members succumbed to the ways of drug influence. As sheep without a shepherd, many of their fans did the same. The songs went from happy-go-lucky lyrics with a jazzy feel to humanistic, self-fulfilling lyrics that made a person feel good. As the 60s rolled by, the flower child hippie ways were encouraged, not only by the music, but by the very culture. The music had shaped the culture and edited the way people look at each other and themselves. A perfect picture of what the world had become was gathering at Woodstock. A seemingly average venue, having multiple bands booked, the event looked like fun time for teenagers and young adults. However, what came to be was more than anything a person could imagine. Hundreds of thousands of people came from around the world because of the love of music. The area was declared a disaster zone due to the overwhelming number present. All the people wanted was peace and music, and Woodstock was just that a few days of straight music and peace. Woodstock will forever stand as a monument revealing to the world the influence and power of music. The 70s and 80s were years dedicated to expanding rock and roll and what we know of it today. When a person says rock and roll, typically people don't recall the Delta Cats, but what they do recognize is Queen or perhaps Journey. Multiple bands pop in certain people's heads depending on their past or the movies they've seen. Journey's hit, Don't Stop Believin', has been in countless movies. The ZZ Top song, Sharp Dressed Man, is a theme song for a hit show, Duck Dynasty. Steven Tyler was a recent judge on American Idol, and his man Aerosmith is still in music production. These seemingly old bands are still being used in today's media. A prime example is the Rolling Stones. The Rolling Stone magazine remains as one of the top magazines in today's consumer culture. There are also thousands of radio stations dedicated to playing classic rock from the 50s on up to the 80s to this day. The hit movie Iron Man promotes both ACDC and Black Sabbath with merchandise and montages. Rock music isn't only lingering in today's society, but continues to thrive and edit society further. As an example, here is some live footage from the San Diego Leaf concert that raised $30 million to help pay for damages. Music has always been a source of media and enjoyment among mankind. However, rock music became a cultural lifestyle. There are many points in history when territory changed or government was shaken, but rock music changed the very way people talk, dress, speak, interact, and socialize with one another, truly creating a turning point in history. <laughs> 